Welcome back to my kitchen guys. Today we're making one of the most delicious breads in the world which is a banana and Nutella bread. This is the first phase we're gonna make the bread today. Then tomorrow we're gonna make French toast with it. So let's go, let's get ready. Ingredients are listed on the page so you can follow me and, and just buy the ingredients, get the ingredients ready and you can cook with me. For the ingredients, we have all-purpose flour, brown sugar, Ripen bananas, the star of the show. Very ripen, okay? Some butter. Hmm. Sliced almonds. Nutella, the second star of the show. Eggs. Delicious. Some plain yogurt. Make sure it's plain, no flavor. Whole milk, please. Baking soda with a pinch of salt. And cooking with my doctor, Madagascar vanilla. So we're gonna go ahead and brown our butter. Get a non-stick pan. Do it at a medium, uh, medium temperature. You don't wanna go that high because you can burn it right away. And then we're gonna also toss our almonds into it. You see how it's gonna get in, getting burned? What are you doing is you're actually burning the milk fat, the milk of the butter. And it's gonna give us a nutty taste that we want on the banana bread. It's gonna take about a minute. They're there to get a little bit. And now we're gonna add our almonds to it. Mm, I wish you could smell this. This is burning now. It's getting that brown. We want to go a little bit darker. Not too much darker though. And our almonds are cooking in that butter too. Give it another minute. If you don't have almonds, you could definitely use all kinds of other nuts. You could use walnuts, I love walnuts too. But almonds goes great with this recipe. Look at those bubbles. That's the milk of the butter. And we have the fat on the bottom. So we want to burn that. We want to burn the milk particles of the butter. And that's what's called brown butter. This, you can also use this recipe, this brown butter, for your fish, for your chicken. It takes around five minutes. Add the star to the butter, a ripened bananas. Just kind of chop them. I don't like to smudge them. Some people like to smudge them. I just like to just throw them there in slices. Just go half lengthwise. And then kind of go like that. Perfect. I like to see the chunks in my banana bread of banana. So that's why I, I slice them like this. with the almonds and the brown butter. Look how beautiful. It smells amazing, guys. So that heat that's still on my butter start kind of melting a little bit the banana, which is great. Because it makes that emotion of the banana, the butter, and the almonds. Enjoy. 
mix it very well. And we're going to add our X. vanilla paste about a teaspoon if you like vanilla you can use a little bit more I love vanilla so I'm gonna eat uh, I'm gonna add a little bit more Let's mix it very well and now we're gonna combine our dried ingredients with our wet ingredients this to this point you're ready you don't want to work it anymore that's perfect We don't want to overwork this. We just want to combine it and make the dough. So we can go ahead and place it on our baking. We're gonna go ahead and grease our baking pan. Just take a little bit of butter. And of course you can use any baking pans that you have a hat at your home. I like this one that I got from my grandmother. It's great. It's been with me for the past 20 years. So just gonna grease it all around. This is gonna prevent from the bread sticking to the walls of the baking sheet or the baking pan. Then I love to add a little bit of flour to it as well. Not too much, just a little bit. All right, so let's go ahead and we're gonna first put around half of my dough. My banana bread mixture here. I'm gonna put up half of it. It's gonna go. Slice it around. More. Okay, just a little bit more. All right. So this is when we're gonna add the other star ingredient, which is the Nutella. So delicious. Okay. Nutella. Just kind of just add it everywhere. Just kind of go like this. Uh, mm. And with a stick. You want to do the swirls. So this is what you're going to do. You're going to take two sticks. You're going to go like that. Mm. Just like that. All this all around. You're going to add the other half of your banana bread mixture. And then it's gonna go to magic oven. Like that. OK. 
You can make it even all around your baking pan. Perfect, that's great. Go to the oven at 350 for about 50 minutes. Let's go ahead. And see you later. Right? So after 15 minutes, I think our bread is ready. To make sure that the bread is ready, just insert a stick into the bread and just make sure it comes out clean. If it comes out clean, bread is ready. So our bread is ready. Let it cool for a half hour before you slice it. And see you tomorrow for the French toast. <laughs>